today we're going to show how to do uh, proper measurements and we're going to start with the male uh, measurements uh, and doing the circumference. So we're just first start off with the chest, hands all the way up. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you grab onto the sides here and it's right on top of the nipple area and hands all the way down. And you want to measure from the side. So you're here and here, make sure you tug all the way down. You get the measurement, take a deep breath in, exhale all the way down, good. So you do two or three times, the second, third, good, and write it down. That's the chest. Next thing for males, you want to show me where your hips are? Show me where your hips are! Right in the hips, your area is going to be right here. So he's going to lower his pants a little bit. So you can get right in the hip section, so we're right where the hip bone is. You go from here to here. Wonderful. Okay? That's that. So we do for the hips, and then for the, um, actually that's your waist. For males, that's the waist. Got it. And then, so that was from here to here, that's the waist for men. And from here are the actual hips. So the thickest part of your hips, you pick your feet together. Good, here to here. And you take measurements, okay? And what should be the highest part or where the hip bones would be, where the thickest part of the body and the hips, okay? So you do that. And then if you want to go specific circumference, then you're going to spread your legs, right and left leg. And what you're going to do is you're going to touch the hip bone and the knee cap, and you're going to go from hip, uh, uh, pinky to pinky, you're going to see where the thumbs lie. So pinky to pinky, you start point, ending point in your thumb area, or the thickest part of your thigh. So you're here and here. You go here once, twice, three times, you write that number down, okay? So again, we're doing chest for males, um, hips, waist, and then right and left uh, for the actual um, the thighs, right? For the arms, basically what you want to do is the, you want to do right and left. You also go to the center of the, the part of the body. I usually go to the thickest or the, the most definition. You go here and here. You check for that. And I like to find out how much people are contracting, so contract. That's just for their, their own sake. And then you let them know what their relaxed and contraction muscle is. It's always nice to know. So you know left and right. And you're set. Basically, that's the way to make sure that you're measuring for males, okay? Now, for females, it's completely different. All you're doing for females is you're for the waist, you're looking for the belly, belly button right here. Hi, Marty. Hi, Marty. And uh, what you want to do is you want to touch the belly button right there. And that's going to be the actual, for the ladies, the top, highest part of the belly button, which would be here and here, here and here, here and here, okay? So, and you'll take the measurement for that. And then for the ladies, the hips would be exactly the same place, right on the thickest part of the thigh. And then you measure that area here. So it's about here to here, thigh would be right in the middle. Check that point there, okay? So again, for women, the same thing. You do the chest is exactly the same way. Do the measurements the same way. The only difference from the male and the female is the waist will be the, on the belly button for ladies. The waist for males will be on their area here, and then the hips are exactly the same. All right, that's the way you could, you're going to be testing and uh, monitoring our clients to make sure they get the best results, and then you write them down, and then that's it. Pretty much it. Woo. All right.